Okay, so what I was saying is was that you need to organize the words in a proper order. So for example, in you can choose one. Choose one. Choose tomorrow morning. Se le suena tomorrow morning. Mami no tiene agua ya, mami. Miren lo que está haciendo la compañera. Por favor, los micrófonos. Entonces, mire que ya está arrastrando las palabras. Es exactamente lo que ustedes van a hacer. Tomorrow, I'm going to visit a museum. Creo que está correcta. Entonces, así ustedes llevan la, la, la secuencia, ¿sí? Hasta que todas, aquí debe aparecer en verde. Todas, todas. Si ella, por ejemplo, le da chequear, ahorita mismo la primera línea le va a salir toda buena. Y probablemente algunas de abajo también buenas porque están en el orden correcto. Miren. Y automáticamente se pasa a la segunda. Si ustedes acá, por ejemplo, no completan todo el ejercicio, él les va, les va a mostrar un mensaje como que selecciona cualquiera, por favor. O dale chequear. Miren. Dale ver eso. Ya les va a mostrar. You can do better. Try again. Sí, así le vamos a dar, pero si ya le hacen el ejercicio correctamente, el mensaje va a ser favorable. Muy bien. Entonces, eso es básicamente todo lo que ustedes van a hacer en esa evidencia o a Unit 1. ¿Listo? Preguntas, questions, para comenzar la clase. Questions. I know. No questions. No questions. No questions. <laughs> ok. Espero no me hagan a, 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 a escribir por ahí el WhatsApp porque ya saben que los mando para que revisen el video. All right, so let me start sharing my screen once again. There you go. Creo que ya están visualizando sobre lo que es el be going to, present continue for future remote. <clears throat> a lo que es, we use be going to, yes, when we talk about the future. There are many ways to in our intention. One way to express it is with the structure going to. But remember that today we are going to focus on be going to, which is the main uh, um, the main purpose of this class. Which is we use going to to express our future plans and intention. This is important or vital that you keep in mind, guys. These two words: future plans and intentions. Okay, so future plans and intention. Keep that in mind because I'm going to ask you a few questions related to these three words. Especially when it is usually accompanied by a time expression. ¿Quién quiere explicarme este punto? Lo puede hacer en español, no hay problema. Alguien que considere que entendió este punto para que continuemos. María del Carmen, listo, adelante. Go ahead. Let's make a slight. It is funny. Sí. Entonces dice que usamos going to para expresar los planes que tenemos hacia futuro o nuestras o cuando ya tenemos decidido decidido. Entonces cuando uh -huh. se ha tomado esa decisión al final ¿no? que nos va a confirmar que es una expresión futura o un mm -hmm. plan de un año. Sí. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That was a, sí. Entonces mira lo que la compañera dijo es perfectamente eh, correcto es claro. Precisamente nosotros hemos planeado algo. Si yo planeé, por ejemplo, la, la, por eso el ejercicio de las vacaciones, miren, vacation, eh, estoy planeando eh, comer boca chico. Entonces yo te digo, what are to eat boca chico? Si, si alguien llega a la puerta y, y toca, no con decir, yo voy a abrir la puerta. I'm going to open the door. ¿Por qué? Porque esa es una actividad que no fue planificada. Entonces, ¿cuál es el que se va a hacer? ¿Por qué? Porque es una actividad que no fue planeada. Para que hayan ustedes teniendo en cuenta esa diferencia entre esto. Por ejemplo, mire, en el primer ejemplo. I'm going to visit my parents next weekend. To plan an activity, we have to add at the end of the sentence a time expression. It's crucial to, just to make the sentence sounds proper or to make the sentence flow correctly. ¿Listo? Entonces, miren, en el segundo ejemplo, John, el, ¿por qué? Ellos ya planificaron que Italia va a ser el siguiente destino para ellos irse a vacacionar o irse de vacaciones. Eso es algo que ya lo planearon. 
It is a next, which is a time expression. Y aquí tenemos otra. We are not going to work tomorrow. ¿Por qué no a trabajar mañana? Where you are not going to work tomorrow. Maybe it's holiday. Maybe you are going to you, you know, on vacation. It will be on no vacation. Maybe time, um, time off. it's time off. Yeah, exactly. You are sick. We don't know. And many other reasons that you may might know. I don't know. See? Entonces, son razones que nacen después de haber planificado algo. ¿Por qué no vamos a trabajar mañana? Por ejemplo, el día de descanso, vamos de vacaciones, es un día feriado, es fiesta, no sé. Entonces, son las razones. ¿Correcto? Aquí tenemos, miren, be going to, and next, we are going to show you guys an, an instruction. ¿Por qué dije I'm going to show you? Porque ya tengo estructurado, ya tengo planeado que esto lo to show you guys. Sí, subject, es importante que tengan presente esa estructura para que ustedes puedan eh, apropiarse correctamente de cómo poder usar el be going to. Subject, to be, auxiliar, verb, and complement. ¿Por qué digo subject? Porque recuerden que los pronombres sujetos ¿sí? son los que están allí. I, he, she, it, we, you, they. Pero esto puede ser repasado por qué? Nombres propios también. Proper names. It to be, am, is, and are. El auxiliar, en ese caso lo, lo, lo podemos como auxiliar, going to. Verb, travel. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo va a ser? On Friday. Oh, por favor, los micrófonos. Please, the microphone. Sí. Entonces, esto tenemos aquí la parte afirmativa. Pero si vamos en la parte negativa, miren que aquí lo único que cambia o se le agrega es el, la partícula not. Y ya en la interrogativa, lo que hacemos es que intercambiamos el subject pronouns con el verbo to be, the verb to be, ¿sí? which is in the first place. And the subjects are in the second place. There's the difference. Esto, esta estructura es importante que la conozcan, que se apropien de ella para que puedan estructurar correctamente sus oraciones. Very good. Um, in here, we got some time expressions. Yo creo que ustedes se activan ahí en el chat, por favor, rápidamente, algunas time expressions that you know. Yo digo la mía, por ejemplo, next, bla, bla, bla. That's tomorrow, dice Oscar. Great. Today, uh -huh, Catalina, today, uh, yesterday, yesterday, yes. Uh -huh. Continue writing more time expressions. Next week, week. Could be. Next year, yeah, next Saturday. Okay, month. This this the month of the year. This one of the month of the year, Oscar. But what about next month? Wednesday night is the break. Wednesday night. <laughs> okay. okay, next next month. Mm -hmm. It was kind of good. Good. Next weekend. Great. Later. Next Saturday. Next year. Yeah, that's okay. Good. This is meeting. Aquí tenemos entonces una time expression that you should know because remember that you need to complete the exercises. Uh, properly and for that you need to add or to you know to know the time expression because they need to be placed at the end of the sentence when we talk about future we usually use time expression here is a list to show you guys on the screen there you go for example on plus a day equal on monday morning viene la primera on monday morning recuerden que siempre que se vaya a usar o vaya a hablar de los días de semana se debe emplear la preposición on antes de eso siempre no puede aparecer un día de semana así sin la partícula on on Monday morning on Tuesday on Friday night on Saturday next week next month next year I have a question please okay eh, por qué no se usa eh, por qué no se usa in the o sea dice en la primera on Monday morning por qué no se escribe on Monday in the morning eh, generalmente cuando se, se usa esa estructura se omite 
¿sí? On Monday in the morning sería como redundancia, pero si tú lo dices, por ejemplo, on Monday morning, automáticamente es como si tú estuvieras usando una apóstrofe. Ok. Para que cumpla la función de the in the, in the, o of the, ¿sí? Es prácticamente lo mismo que suele suceder en este caso. O sea que se puede escribir on Monday eh, afternoon, o Monday yes. evening. Yes, exactly. Okay. On Monday nights. Okay. Okay. On Monday nights. Porque okay. evening, remember that evening is more like... Like a greeting where you are arriving to a place and you're going to greet the people who are in that, in that place that you are visiting. You say, good evening. Well, it's basically that. But you can use the evening. evening. It's okay. It's, it's, okay. it's okay. Thank you. You're pretty welcome. Don't mention it. Just keep that in mind. Here we got more time expression. Mira, ejemplo. In a time of the day, say, next Christmas, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. It's the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, next Christmas. You can use this time expression. Did you go? Other time expressions are, for example, tomorrow, Zoom, and tonight. All those time expressions are crucial for you guys to um, organize or write down your sentences correctly. Keep that in mind. I think this practice is going to be uh, conducted through the shots. You're going to write in the shots. I'm going to shout out, I'm going to shout out just to revive what you're going to be sharing through the shots. You say, organize in proper order the following sentences. Remember, you are going to, to write the sentences correctly through the shot. You send it, I check that out, and then you can say, oh, hey, that was good. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Say, what are they going to do? Remember, the intention, tienen que tener presente la intención. La planificación, ¿listo? What are they going to do? Play football. Sí. Henry is going to play football. Porque ya planificó de que iba o va a jugar fútbol. ¿Listo? Si usted quiere agregarle un time expression at the end of the sentence, that's good. You can add it. No problem. First sentence for you to order. Score some goals. Score some goals. Henry. Write a sentence through the chat, correctly. Entonces van a escribir la oración correctamente ahí en el chat. Vamos a ver. Score some goals, Henry. Remember to use the, the verb to be, going to, and if you want to add at the end of the sentence, the time expressions is good. Henry is going to, uh, something is missing, Oscar. Check that out, check that out. Something is missing. Henry is going to some goals. Ajá. Uh -huh. Aquí te está faltando. Henry will score some goal next game. No, you cannot eat, you cannot use will. You cannot use will. Remember that we are just talking about going to, going to. Okay, Andres, excellent. Henry is going to score some. Oh, no, 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 no. Guess it is. You say golas. You forgot to, to write that correctly. Henry is going to score some goals. Catalina, excellent. Perfect. Perfect. Henry is going to score some goals. Uh -huh. He said Blanca Reserva. Hey, excellent. Henry is going to is going to score some goals. Excellent. Henry is going to score some goals. Very good. Okay, let's move on to the second one. Let's show you guys the second the second sentence. It scores. Okay, it was repeating. There you go. Kick the ball. Kick the ball. It's la tercera. Kick the ball. La repetí. Kick the ball. Henry. Escribanla correctamente. Write it correctly. Remember to that. Henry. Uh -huh. Henry is going to kick the ball tomorrow. Yes, yeah. Henry is going to kick the ball. Say, Oscar, Henry is going to kick the ball. Uh-huh. Kick the ball. 
Henry is going to kick the ball next game. Yeah, I was around it. Good, good. That's the way, that's the way. That's how English work. That's the way how English works. Listo? Esta forma como en que se trabaja. Así, práctico. More, more. Bien más, más. More. Henry is going to keep the ball next game. Yeah. Quizás él, él terminó el juego y él no pudo patear el balón, pero al menos planeó que para la próxima va a patear el balón. Lo va a patear y duro. Quizás va a marcar un gol. No sabemos. Si el paro no lo traiciona. <laughs> okay, excellent. Aquí tenemos his parents see the match. His parents see the match. ¿Cómo sería? His parents see the match. Ahí yo, yo, yo les ayudé. His parents. I'm already held to you. His parents are going to see the match. He said, Diana. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect. His parents are going to see the match. Excellent. His parents are going to see the match. Perfect. Perfect, Blanca. Perfect. Perfect, Oscar. His parents are going to see the match. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, Maria de Carmen. Excellent. Excellent. Entonces, para los que no sabían decir, eh, por ejemplo, partido, se dice much, ok, much. His parents are going to see the much. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the way, that's the way. Good, good. Good, Alessandra. Alessandra, Karen, his parents are going to see the much. Excellent. Here we go. Tenemos la otra. Paul do snow jumping. Paul do snow jumping. What's the way? Paul do snow jumping, blah, 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 blah. You need to organize it correctly. You are doing great. You're doing great. His parents are going to see the mush next week. Excellent, Celindina, excellent. What you, what does, okay, okay, good, good. Paul going to, Paul is going to do snow jumping. Paul is going to snow jump in the sun in the sun address. He's going to snow. Uh, but something is missing, Oscar. You should get out. Check it out. Because I think of you need to, to add a more. Paul is going to do snow jumping next month. Excellent, Maria Carmen. Good job. Good job. Perfect. Jumping with his brother next weekend. Okay, one snow jumping. Paul is going to do a snow jumping tonight. It's Alessandra. All right, he's already planned to do snow jumping. Okay, we got here. The rabbit jump very fast. The rabbit sentence. Paul is going to do a snow jumping. It's Alessandra tonight. Great. The rabbits jump very fast. Send your contribution to the chat. I can shout out. I can shout out. Okay, the rabbit is going to jump very fast. Say Blanca, the rabbit is going to jump. You check it out, check it out. The rabbit is going to jump very fast. The rabbit is going to jump very fast. The rabbit, the rabbit is. <laughs> okay, yes, Carlos, Carlos is trying to get and make it, I mean, to, to cover good sentences. <laughs> okay, very fast, the shirt is going to. <laughs> That's good, Oscar. That's excellent, excellent, because you are going beyond boundaries. That's the way, that's the way to, to break down boundaries, to, better, to break the ice, to break the yellow. Siempre traer unas expectativas, ¿sí? Sus buenos. Good. Blanca Rosalba is laughing, uh, is laughing. Uh. <laughs> okay. Hey, continue sending your contribution. Laughing out loud is Alessandra, laughing out loud. Uh -huh. Continue, continue sending, continue sending your contribution, your sentences. I can share that out, check that out, please. Okay, let's move on, let's, let's, there you go. Robert do bungee jumping. Robert do bungee jumping, that's the way. Robert do bungee jumping. Organize this sentence too, please.
Robert do bungee jumping. Robert is going to do bungee jumping tomorrow. Yeah, Robert is going to, to do bungee jumping. When? I don't know. Robert is going to, to do bungee jumping in the next weekend. You can say this on um, next weekend. You only need to say, Oscar, if you say, for example, next weekend, could be good, could be good. Just to make your English look better. Robert is going to do, hey, once right there, you are missing a, a name in bungee jumping next Saturday. Yeah, next Saturday. Good. But you are missing a, a letter in, in bungee. Robert is going to, to do bungee jumping in your in okay. In this case, who was it? Who was this world? This is Catalina. You should better say he's you say Robert is going to do bungee jumping in his birthday, birthday, because your, in this case, Catalina is going to, to do bungee jumping in her, yes, no? Or you are going to do bungee jumping in your birthday, that's the way. You look the difference? Robert is going to do bungee jumping on Monday. Yes, Alexander, that's the way. Robert is going to do bungee jumping on Sunday afternoon. That's the way, Mary Carmen. Good, excellent, perfect. That's the way, that's the way out. That's the way out, come on. Come on, guys, you're doing great. Okay, here we got another sentence, which is Tom played golf with his father. Tom played golf with his father. Check that out and organize it properly. Tom played golf with his father. He's going to play golf with his parents. Hey, Maria Jose, you missed the, uh, the name of, of the subjects. You are missing the subjects or the pronoun. Who is Tom? Tom is going to play. Hey, you say, sorry, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. You need to add it. Add it that and send it that again, please. <laughs> don't be sorry. Just Tom is going to play golf with his father tomorrow. Okay, good, good, Catalina, excellent. That's the way up, that's the way up. Hey, continue sending your sentences, please. I mean, <laughs> Tom is going to play golf with his father and his dog. Hey, that's the way, that's the way, that's good. Because I don't know if the dog can play golf as well. Maybe he's going to pick the ball when the when Tom kicked the ball, he's, the, the dog is going to find it. Tom is going to play golf with his father next holidays. How many holidays are you going to spend out? We don't know. Tom is going to play golf with his father and his mother. Excellent, excellent. And finally, here you are. Okay, we got two more saying this is John sail in the lake. He's saying John sail in the lake. Here you go, another sentence please, number 10. Tom is going to play golf with his father and his mother. Okay, great, Maria Carmen, excellent sentence. Okay, Maria Jose, you correct it out. Tom is going to play golf with his father next holidays. That's the way. <laughs> Okay, go to number 10. John is going to sail in the lake later. Yeah, maybe. Say Catalina, great. That's the way. Yo sé que ustedes hoy van a quedar muy claros en la forma de hacer uso o usar el going to, in intención. Recuerden que cuando yo ya sea planeado, yo planeo y luego voy y desarrollo. O cuál es la intención futura que tengo con eso. John is going to sail in the lake in, in okay, in year. Say, um, uh, okay, it should be better, Maria. It should be better. No, co do not cause problem to my mind. Listo, no me cause problem in mi mente. <laughs> Great, Maria. John is going to sail in the lake. lake. 
Hey, Clara, something is missing. John is going to sail in the lake next weekend on weekend. Something, okay, John is going to sail in the lake next month. Great. If, and the last sentence is, will he swim in the pool? Will he swim in the pool? Okay, this is the last sentence for tonight. Will he swim in the pool? How can you arrange or organize this sentence? Okay, Willie, you say Maria Willu is going to swim in the pool with his friends. Great. Willie is going to swim in the rodadero. Willie is going to swim in the rodadero. Hey, rodadero is like in Pacific Coast. I don't know. But it sounds like in the Pacific, rodadero. It's like an island. Anyway, Will is going to swim in the, in the pool next vacation. Will is going to swim in the pool next weekend. Next week, Will is going to slider. What is slider? What should you mean, Alessandra? Will is going to swim in the pool in the, in the afternoon. Will is going to swim in the pool today. All right. So he's going to sing. There you go, guys. You're doing pretty well. I do want to congratulate you guys because you're. Hey, Will is going to swing in the pool with his friends. Huh. Yeah, Rajik. Listo, muy bien. Vamos entonces a movernos al segundo punto, which is this. This is more exercises. This is more exercise for you. The she is going to to go to the beach, ¿sí? Entonces, miren, por ejemplo, ¿cuál es la intención? Que ella se va a ir a la playa. Miren la intención de esa imagen número dos. Dice dos, soy yo. A delicious cake. En español, ¿quién quisiera decirle cuál es la intención de esta persona? Cocinar. Ajá, ¿y cómo sería la oración? I going to cook. A delicious cake. Maybe he's going to, to cook, he's going to prepare a delicious cake. Porque igual es la intención. El, el plan, preparar la, 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 ¿sí? The cake. Pero ¿cuál, realmente, ¿cuál es la intención? Que sea deliciosa, ¿cierto? Miren, el plan y, e intención. Son dos cosas muy diferentes. Ya lo que yo planeo, la ley de vacaciones, pero ¿qué es lo que yo voy a hacer en esas vacaciones? ¿Cuál es la intención de esas vacaciones? No, irme a, no sé, a, a relajarme, a bañar en el mar, cualquier cosa. Pero es la intención que yo tengo con las vacaciones. ¿Listo? Entonces, ahí en hecho, I'm going to cook a delicious cake. Listo. Vamos a la número tres. Number three. He and spill the coffee. He and spill the coffee. ¿Cuál sería la oración? What's the mean spill, please? Regar. Ok. Spell. Nadie planea eso. <laughs> <laughs> ok, so because if you look at the picture, you see that the guy is, you know, you know, spilling the coffee. Look the coffee here, and here is he is holding something else. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but it, uh, it's a cake, it's a bread, I don't know. Coffee and cake. Mm -hmm. Could be. Ajá, ¿cómo sería la oración? Quiero ver en el chat. Uh, Uh 
Ajá, estoy esperando que envíen las, <ríe> las, las oraciones. Nobody has sent any sentence so far. Bueno, más sencillo. Vamos a la número cuatro, que es más sencilla, para que no se me vayan a... Ok, I'm going to make a chocolate cake. It's good. I'm going to make a chocolate cake. Uh, you should um, delete the yes. Porque estás diciendo, estás usando el artículo e, entonces lo, de, lo que denota una sola galleta, chocolate. Entonces, I'm going to um, make a delicious or a chocolate cake. Es la intención. El, es el plan. Vas a preparar una galleta o torta de chocolate. Pero la intención, ¿cuál sería? Para regalársela a mi mamá, a mi hermano, a mi novia, whatever. ¿Sí? He's not going to spill the cake and spill the coffee. It should be good, Oscar. But that's the, that's the way. He's not going to spill the cake and, and spill the coffee. It should be good. Yeah, Oscar. That's the way. That's the way. And number four. Ya nos quedan tres minutos. Volvemos a ingresar para que terminemos el ejercicio que viene. ¿Listo? Okay. Number four. We are holidays in Spain. We are holidays in Spain. ¿Cómo sería? Vamos a hacer la más sencilla. Quien quiera habilitar el micrófono me dice la oración. El resto debe escribirla. If some one of you or any one of you would like to open the microphone, enable the microphone and tell us what's the correct sentence, just do it. Just do it. Yes. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Um, I think that it will be like we are going to spend our holidays in Spain. That's the way out. That's perfect. You don't think it is correct. We are going to travel our, okay, we are going to spend our holidays in Spain. Mm, that's the right verb to use when talking about spending um, vacation or spending time, ¿listo? Or even though spend money. Entonces es el verbo correcto, spend, spend. Es como um, gastar, pasar, ¿sí? En este caso es el cor verbo correcto. Number five. We are going to enjoy, we're going to enjoy our holidays in Spain. Spain, yes, enjoy. You can, you can omit the ing in the verb enjoy. Just enjoy. We're going to enjoy our holiday. verbo, con la ing sería como un adjetivo, ¿sí? Number five, she a car accident. She a car accident. Miren la oración. She, she, a car accident. Teacher. Uh -huh. um, she is going to have a car accident. Or she's not going to have a car accident, como dice Oscar Roldan. Or she's going to have a car accident because if you look the car, he's missing a, a wheel. You know? <laughs> she's crazy. Créame que se va a ir de boca. <laughs> okay, very good. And here we got more. Aquí tenemos más. Number six. He for work again. He for work again. Look the picture, look the image, and come up with the right sentence. She's not going to drive a car accident. Mm, could be a good one. She's not going to drive into a car accident, even though it should be better. Number six, he for work again. ¿Cómo sería? 